Hey, welcome back. We are up to part 54 of my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, we are, I think, nearly at the end of the Winchester Alliance quest. I feel like we're about to get betrayed. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we found the other two Ottomans, if I am correct. Yeah? Yeah, we've already done two of them, yeah. Pretty sure I have <laughs> that's how that worked so the sea I'm pretty sure isn't going to be dead because you know it's a game right like you've got to have something to do and then we're going to figure out who the rake is and then it's just the uh the father so that's it and I think we're pretty close to the end right gotta be 54 parts in we're like 70 hours in at this point so we've got to go and investigate the corpse of the uh of the bishop that everyone apparently liked and hated at the same time so uh, if the bishop is worm meal then here should be the proof did you know bishop ilfrith no but i plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise oh poor ailfrith scorched of face all your woeful companions bold bionid weeping <laughs> Weeping as you are, uh, sleeping? Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. Useless. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Yeah. We're gonna get any answers out of these people? Such a grisly fate. Did you know Elfrith? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once had them quarrelling at a Witten. Eternal bliss. Where joy endures for all those beloved of God. You do. Why are you, are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Here we go. That's a proper conversation. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death. Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me. Only his face was burned. You didn't get far. Jeez. Well, let me speak to you. Why will you not leave me alone? <laughs> Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside, and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Oh, so... He's being a cheeky bugger. He's hiding. All right, where are we hiding? Well, that would be too hard, right? Like, as I said, though, he was never going to already be dead. 
at least that wasn't the bloke that we've been helping this entire time, so unless we're on it together, which is totally possible. You know? on the ground. Oh, he's totally in there, right? Like... Okay, he's dead. Right. So... I mean, we could have made this really hard ourselves, but I think if we just go up here... It's not going to be too bad, bro. Right? The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Oh, it's one of these blokes. The letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead. And we mourn him. But the foul deeds um, of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, wisdom, enlightenment. I wonder if I can get a two for you. What if we just luck out? No? Did we luck out? Is that what happened there? How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Firth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. God. 
He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Interesting. Okay. Well, where we go then? I've never seen this person before. <coughs> well, we'll go back there in a minute. To the bishop's house. We go and eliminate her first. Now already here. Pencil paper. Track day. Maybe we should go and track down that last member first. Show me what lies ahead. No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go get rid of that other order member first, just in case. Oh. No, no, no. Um, that shouldn't be too hard though. It should be quick. Because for some reason, the last well, you've been watching this, the last couple of times we've had to get rid of this last order member, they've been totally nothing. So. <laughs> that Nuts. Oh, how did he get his health back? I don't, I don't, I don't, no, no, no. That's just gonna be annoying. Oh my god, just. <laughs> Sorry. The Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his God. 
Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence is for you now. to the other joint. Bit of a distance from that. But that's okay. Okay, let's get this done. We went that far. Definitely looking way further on the map. Let's go. Start it again. Ooh. Facet Dominus Noster Sapiens Nugus. Here we go, Ide lads. Collecta Supra in Terra Atheres. Et Locustus Est Ad Eum Et Precipit Rex Somnium. Parabit Tuorum Si Ego Tu Bene Mihi Non Timent. Go on, you! Like, how do I not look super out of place with these guys? Stretch your wings. Over there, you reckon? Let me get in there, though. Down there, I'm guessing. Yeah, that looks promising. Alright. Just gotta go like this. These patrols aren't very good. There we go. You would. If Elfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. Either that or it's a trap. <laughs> you know. My money's on trap. There's a key. This must be it. The door to Ilfer's secrets. Who is the poor soldier? I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Explosive arrows definitely make this so much easier. Oh, treasure. 
Nice. The father. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the order. I should see Alfred for my reward. There's something dodgy going on here. Ivor, as usual. Let's see that now. Someone got a cat on the way out, surely. Shame. You know, nothing up there. <laughs> no. Weird. All right, well now I'm lost. Oh, there's the door. Let's see me. Ah, uh -uh. stealth. See me. I'm not sure why that was my decision. It's a bit silly. So, run the perimeter. My brain will be very right. No windows on the side. Why are you not going? Billy. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, <coughs> Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one 
is beyond saving. had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred. Get out of here. I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. Right, the door. Get a bit further away, then we'll just fast travel to the uh, to the settlement. <laughs> Once we're out of combat. Well, I did say we were going to get betrayed, and betrayed we were. At least that one's over. Declared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. I have to go. Then go in peace. Go, go, go. Be one of us. Nice to see you. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Now we own the ball. All right. So, well, we should have a look at clues, right? What more clue? What have I? What have I missed here? I just want to be from the far bill. Hmm. Uh, we have to go back and do that. That must be it, right? Eivor, I figured we should speak with you. 
quite agitated. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. Mm. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Good day, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. Mm -hmm. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Well, we got about 15 minutes, that's uh... Yeah, how far we can get with this. Evo? A moment. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. Let's go. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. It's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. So the sun of... You Salskjals got a story. Oh, this is our fair kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lap dog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth.
Tell me. Studs. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Pull up here! Eivor! Eivor! What was it? Show me what lies ahead. Ah, what was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They That's sniff and lick soaker. without kids. You are a chipper, brother. To sundown, he just sits there. Into up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just... <laughs> we should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stuff. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. Sigurd, 
From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This that bad it? business is finished. Good riddance. <coughs> Now we sail for further shores, to my true purpose, to my destiny, to the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. We have come a long, long way in search of a hazy vision, Sigurd. Be careful. Good Eivor. I would not lead you blindly into the unknown. Have faith that what I know is true, and where we go is real. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and... A man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. <laughs> Man your oars. Sail up. The daughters of I here bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will you break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman. Wait, yeah. This one? In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful. I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. 
But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the cigarette I know well. Can we not return to England uh, and what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. Catch a great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end. There's a bit of a shallow water there, or so. Sail up! Sail up! Like, are we at the end? Is that what this is? Sprint. Follow me into this kingdom of snow. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have meat and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Avon. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now! of frozen fingers, I hope so. There. That frozen lake. This must be it. 
And ahead lies the cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! Secret gate? <laughs> the ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? Absolutely, my friend. My heart races. This is Ooh, it. Look the architecture this here. Door. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> the space above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svach hoi nog vat uns membro trurvon di quorde uns solas vras gnoka dide unsum hugas reis derae gas aunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Elevator? Huh? Oh, where are she? Sigurd, I... I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel, was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, oh, well. the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits. How beautiful she gleams. Here all the roots of life run together. Skulls would cry to behold such a sight. <laughs> and there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. Nope, sorry. Wasn't letting me control the camera for a minute there. No, it's not. Sorry. There. What is going on? Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Yes, it is returning to me now. 
This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. What? And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, <laughs> for I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Like, who's that corpse up there? Looks like the Animus from uh, the AC movie. What is this place? you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Svala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your arm has returned and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Evo. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. Comes up right here. This place is incredible. 
Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Feel the eternal glory of Valhalla. At last I share the din of infinite battle with a true troll ass. You taste You see, you suck. Brother. Worry not, Aver. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. Oh, yeah! The day is done. <laughs> what just happened? Just gonna be on repeat, right? Or... Lead us to glory, Javi. We are proud to serve you, Javi. Let my lips with another horde of meat, brother. Drink for strength. Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again it will be Father, is that you? Didn't die or his death, right? The Havi returns to lead us to victory. Skull! Skull! Take your horn, join the battle cheer. Dearest Skull, the war and verse. How do you like this frenzy so far? It is. It is quite something. Raise your horn, Evo. What stops you? My father, Varen. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I have seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. But it's not. I saw you, Father. Where are you? Show yourself. Lead us to glory, Javi. We are proud to serve you, Javi. Great warriors, have you seen Varen? Who? Varen, my father. Yesterday is Varen? Father. Drug man, come on. Last. <clears throat> Where is he?
I assume I'm not going to be able to find him on my own, right? But he's none of these NPCs. There's no one with a cape. I'll just go on top of the city again. Oh, wait. Ha! Next time I lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of these injuries? Never! He's right there! <laughs> Wait! Father! Oh, Jesus! Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father. But you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here. And I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you. ...and his clan. No... ...he... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla... ...the eternal golden field. Now come... ...battle beckons! How is all this possible? <laughs> How are the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No. They are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I'd sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death. No pain. No loss. No betrayal. Not like out there. 
You want this? To live inside a lie? I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell to my dear Volka and came here. I wish you well, Svala, but this is not for me. <coughs> I must find Sigurd. Strike past him then. The arm! The arm! Always the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now and return to England. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here you have no reputation. But out there... It's not too late. Every day the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. Real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother. It's time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf kissed one who lingered at the edge of death yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle. ...to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired... ...bowing to none. stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled 
fought many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. <coughs> Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly bussing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. <laughs> Fight me! Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, look, I'm not surprised that Odin messed me up. Look. Then I am done with dreaming. Eivor, stand. Ah. What am I supposed to do? Stop in a sec. This is looking. Oh, oh my god. Well, how about I unequip it? What are you doing? 
That's so annoying. Take up your axe. No. Wield like a true warrior. No. <clears throat> Take off your axe. Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor! Be careful! Bassam! What, what is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Bassam! For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth, that it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him. <coughs> Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. Ah! Seriously? Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go! Keep that background! You must suffer! A thousand times what I suffered! What is this about? My son, Igor! This is about my son! You speak nonsense, Bassam! We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. Dearly, Eivor. It's the wellspring of your memory. Let us speak. I have waited countless ages for this moment. No more talk. I hunger for this kill. Show me your neck. Show me. <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize. Of course. <sighs> Like an alehouse drunk. You 
you're assigned to this, so be it. You will not die in peace. You will never see your home or your people again. Killed somebody close to it at some point. Now it's ready. It's right. Ah, damn! <laughs> Let us make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. me no joy justice bringer you were always so kind but you chose the wrong side i am your prize besom come you are indeed <laughs> in planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... Uh, I need some time to breathe. That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd, without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. 
We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey, and I... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery, your courage, your wisdom. <clears throat> In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England. Of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages. I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. 
That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Max. Yeah. I think we're nearly done. Is that, is that it? Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex. How do we... <laughs> we finish this. Where do we go? Is that it? Old mate said he was packing the van, but I don't see him or a van. Oh, he's over there. Ready. It's a long way to Bean Town. Hop in. Wait, is there another mission here? This can't be another mission. I thought it was done. Uh -uh. Sean? I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right. We may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, the radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawahoe Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarte, Ul Solas Fras Hunakudi De, Unzum Huraz, Bezdere has, Zohumsi. Already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's going to go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. 
How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What are you by calling us when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. There you are. You're working overtime. Must have collapsed when the ice melted. Whoa, whoa. Steady. A pool of water from all that melted ice. Give me like total recall and sequence vibes. Don't look down. Don't look down. Would anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? The sim is still there. It's just like the animus. It's just like the animus. for will I know it when I see it something feels off mm -hmm. don't say what is this hey. are you doing this are you pushing this machine to its limit
Who's your master? Is he here? <laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. Oh, You're trap. a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it. Silence, Udur. Verdandi. Skald. Be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last. They rest. Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to one. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, Another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 
2012 when Desmond saved the world. Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... ...so be it. I owe this to the people I... ...I hurt. To the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. of that but I'm not afraid and I'm not alone we have work to do work that may take us days or years it's impossible to say but we'll finish it what I mean is don't come looking for me it's too dangerous and and too late take care of yourself take care of the world we still have you see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you! You left her there! This... 
This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. effect shouldn't take long to kick in a few days at most so here we go Steady, Eivor. So we. Welcome home.
We missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment, and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Uh, uh... returned inside of the hearth come your secret is no longer safe hey vor Ranvi. what is this is everything all right our jarl's kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future will you speak to your people For love and joy words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. Fight for we who fall. <coughs> what do you mean? territories available all right we've gone massively way over time um i'm gonna have to leave it there if this is the end i'll add a little clip onto the end to say that that was it if this is not the end because we have to go and speak with someone i oh, know irish adventure that's that's dlc so that's it we're done i'm pretty sure that very a much moment. seemed like the end okay Sigurd. oh no oh no before you say more i must tell you something Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly. But our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet, as a clan, we will grow together. And I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. Okay. That is it for the main quest, by the look of it. Um, <laughs> we might do a little video to sort out grabbing Mjolnir, uh, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, so that was a really good ending. I like the twist. Uh, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in Mirage now that what we know about the Sim because uh, that's crazy 
Uh, he's obviously possessed by an Isu spirit, consciousness, whatever. Nuts. So, otherwise, I really enjoyed playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, this was a really long video, so I might split it up in the end. We'll just see how we go. Maybe not. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy gaming. We'll catch you on the next one.